Hello, I'm here to show you today how to change out your fuel filter and clean your injectors at the same time. Now what we're going to do is start out, you're going to need a crescent wrench or you can get an inch and an eighth inch wrench to take off the cap. Now my truck is a Dodge 2005 Cummins turbo diesel. Yours might be a little different, but it's the same scenario. So first we're going to start by doing this. And you can see the fuel filter is located right here. You see the little plastic nut there in the background um, behind the uh, uh, brake fluid container there. Okay, and we unscrew it just like this. And sometimes what you can do, there's a little yellow uh, lever down there, and that's a fuel water separator. And what you can do is uh, flip that and remove any excess water before you change out the filter. This time I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to unscrew this and just take the top off. Okay. I'm just going to unscrew it like this, and it's kind of tight places, so you have to kind of flip your wrench over kind of like so before you can finally get it undone there. What you're going to see, you can keep unscrewing it like this. Finally it will come off and out comes your filter like that. So we're going to get a rag. Make sure not get diesel all over your truck because it's not fun to clean, believe me. Have your rag ready like this here. Take your fuel filter out. Have your rag ready and then hold it up underneath so you don't make a big mess everywhere. And change it out just like this here. Now it might be on there a little bit tight, but it just snaps out kind of like this here. And that's your fuel filter. That's the old one. You can see it's kind of dirty when it starts getting dark and black like that. Like I said, you can see the difference between the new one and the old one right here, what they look like. Now, it's important when you get your filter, um, usually the brand doesn't matter. Um, I'm kind of loyal to Wix, but that's just me. Um, not trying to sell for them, but that's just me. I've always liked them. Now, it's very important, and I learned this the hard way one time, to always take off the old ring off the cap. It blends in so good it's kind of hard to uh, tell that it's on there. But it always comes with a new ring, the fuel filters do. You just put it on there, kind of like this. Make sure it goes all the way up towards the top. Take your new fuel filter with the block in up the top and just kind of snap it in like so. Now, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and clean the injectors. I'll show you what I'm talking about there. Okay, this is how we're going to clean out the, uh, uh, the rest of the fuel out of the fuel filter housing to be able to clean the injectors with um, our seafoam that we have here. It's a very good product. Again, I'm not trying to sell for them or anybody, but I think it's a very good product to be able to clean your injectors out. And the way to do that is to pour that into the fuel filter housing, but we've got to get the excess diesel out since we've remo removed the fuel filter. So what we're going to need is a suction gun like this or something to be able to get the diesel out that's clean. Once you pull this handle back, when you suck the diesel out of the housing and you stick this in there, you're going to instantly want to put your thumb on here to be able to stop any excess diesel flowing back out. Then you're going to take it and dump it in some type of bucket. So let's go ahead and let's try that. Okay, we're going to put the straw down in, pull the handle out. As soon as it's out, we're about to put my finger on the end of it, just like so, and then dump that out into a good container where you don't get diesel fuel everywhere. You just keep doing that until the fuel is all the, way, all the way completely out. Okay, this is what your fuel filter housing should look like after you've sucked out about 90% of the diesel with your suction gun. Now, this is how we're going to clean um, your injectors. We're going to pour this uh, sea foam in there and uh, put that through the uh, fuel filter housing, fill it all the way up, and it's usually about the whole bottle. It's usually about what it runs. And then we're going to put our fuel filter back in it and uh, tighten the lid and uh, start it up. So then that's going to clean out your injectors in one shot, and it's very good for the vehicle too. Um, you could do preventative maintenance by doing something like this or change out your injectors. Personally myself, I would rather do preventative maintenance because the injectors are pretty expensive.
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pour in our sea foam now. Just like so. The whole thing. It's gonna take just about all of it. And that is the whole bottle right there. Now we're gonna put it back together. Take our new fuel filter with our cap. Make sure you've got the new ring on here and the old one off. Stick it right back in here just like this. And kind of go slow with it. You don't want to push it in real, real fast or otherwise you'll start pushing out all the excess diesel and precious sea foam uh, cleaning solution that you have in there. Keep twisting it on until you get it tight. And also make sure that you use your wrench to tighten it back up as well. Because you do want to get it, make sure and get it a little snug. It's plastic threads and you don't want to get crazy with it, but you do want to get it pretty snug. And once you finally got your fuel filter cap snug, we can go ahead and start the vehicle. And you're probably going to hear it kind of misfire a little bit and kind of run rough. But what that is, is the uh, injectors are being cleaned because that sea foam is going through. So let's try it out. Sometimes what will happen is, whenever you start your engine up, it's going to kind of idle rough. That's that sea foam going through the injectors. It's making the idle rough. This time it didn't do that, but sometimes it's different. But that's about it. That's how to change out your fuel filter and clean your injectors out at the same time. Preventative maintenance, that's always the key. Best way to go.